Right now at the State House, this uh, Speaker Nick Mattiello's proposal to eliminate the unpopular car tax is going through its first legislative debate. Mattiello wants to get the bill approved by the end of the month, but questions remain about how cities and towns will make up the lost revenue. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us live from the State House with the latest. Well, Shannon, the House Speaker unveiled his plan last week to eliminate the car tax by 2023. If it is approved, implementation would begin this upcoming July. Now, right now, Matty Owl is set to testify before the House Finance Committee. He's set to do that in just a few minutes. At last check, only about a dozen people are set to testify on behalf of this bill. One of those people is Brian Daniels, who heads up the state's League of Cities and Towns. He says the Speaker and his staff have worked closely with the cities and towns to get this car tax proposal on the table. The most important thing he wanted to address was that cities and towns will be fully reimbursed for any revenue that was lost. Now, under Mattiello's plan, state money would be used to reimburse communities for the roughly $221 million the car tax is currently giving them at this time. Daniel says this is a huge step in the right direction, but right now, tonight, he's going to testify about other logistical concerns with this car tax plan. We want to raise the, the early implementation time frame as a big problem for cities and towns um, and also just emphasize the importance that we need to have a sustainable source of state revenue for the cities and towns. We tried this in the past and it was reversed and that was a $130 million cut to cities and towns just about a decade ago. We don't want to reverse that so we want to make sure that all the, the tools are in place to, that we don't have that same mistake. Again, House Speaker Mattiello is set to testify in just a few minutes before the House Finance Committee. There are about a dozen people that are set up to testify tonight. One of them, Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza, who's set to testify in support of the bill, as are representatives from the ACLU, but a representative from the Economic Progress Institute, which looks out for low-income Rhode Islanders, will testify tonight in opposition of this car tax proposal. So again, about a dozen people set to testify before the House Finance Committee. Latest details on WPRI.com. Reporting live inside the State House. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.